All right, you two, welcome back. Here we are. I'm a tired old car once again, ready for another project. So it's going to be a headlight project. So stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I got one nice new headlight and one foggy old headlight. Boy, it's really rough. New, old. So somebody hit my car a couple years ago and they replaced the headlight and bumper because he hit this side in a parking lot, but they left me that. So it looks stupid. One new one, one old one. Should have made them replace both, which reminds me, don't ever go to the approved insurance approved shop. Never go there ever, ever. They are working for the insurance company, not you. So find your own body shop, mechanic, whatever, take your car and make the insurance pay their bill because never go to the insurance approved shop. Anyhow, so yeah, I'm going to try to polish this headlight to make it look new. I don't know if it's going to work. Actually, I don't even know if it's, yeah, I guess it looks the same. It's just so, so badly faded that it doesn't even look like the same headlight. So I bought a kit. I, I watched some YouTube videos. This seems to be one of the better kits out there. 3M Headlight Restoration Kit. So we are going to check it out. We're going to do an unboxing with it and hopefully make this headlight look brand new. So let's get started. All right, so the kit includes instructions. Rubbing compound. Actually, I paid $30 for this. The YouTube videos I watched, people were saying they paid like 15 bucks for it. I don't know where they were getting it for 15 bucks. I bought this at Advanced Auto Parts. It was $30. It's got this pad that, you know, goes in your drill, holds the different grits of sandpaper. And it has 3,000 grit paper. It has 800 grit, four 800 grit papers. So like six 500 grit papers. And a polishing wheel. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, open the hood and put masking tape around here so I don't scratch the paint. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is clean it with some glass cleaner so that it's nice and clean before I start sanding it. Dirt, grime, bug guts, whatever, I don't know, off of it before I start. All right, I realize these are, these are actual grooves in the plastic. All right, well, I like glass cleaner and put some kind of hazy don't want it. Oh, whatever, it's clean. Okay, so I put this on my drill. It says 12 to 1600 RPM drill. Or as I can tell, I think uh, speed, you know, I got one and two speeds. Speed two is zero to 1900, so 
maybe a little faster than 1600 but I can always dial it down a little 500 grit paper we start with Put it on there and start sanding we start with it dry <clears throat> and we want to sand the, like the top surface haze off so we just kind of Definitely sanding something off. off microfiber towel can't believe I had one of them there's definitely some kind of film or something on there slowly coming off. I don't know if you can see that area right there. It's getting smaller. There's also like, I don't know, something. Kind of residue. <laughs> So I'll finish sanding this by hand and then I'll check back in. Okay, sanded that all by hand. Actually, in hindsight, I think I would have sanded all the edges by hand because it really wasn't as hard to sand by hand as I thought it would be. But anyhow, I got it all sanded. One spot here with like some stuff on there, I just can't, won't come off. I don't know. I sanded and sanded and sanded. So, it's staying. Next step. 800 grit so I just got to sand it out the deep scratches from 500 grit scratches to 800 grit scratches with this just So 
to do wet sanding here. Because I'm out of memory, I'll just like start it and then stop it. 3000 grit. Three thousand grit water. I emptied it and kept it just water in it. And just thought oh, my battery's dead. Okay, this battery's been charging for a few minutes. So let's back to where it was when I started. <laughs> okay, I'm out of, almost out of memory on the camera, so let me just go over this like 50 times and then I'll check back with you. Okay, next is this polishing pad with this rubbing compound. Tear the corner off. I do this in a hurry because I'm out of memory on my phone again. So they say a dime size, I don't know. And I do know you want to kind of smear it around before you start spinning the drill. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to put a little more on. Keep doing this and then I'll check back. Okay, there you go. Um, completed headlight lens. Is it as good as the brand new one? Uh, I think it's probably not as good as the brand new one, but it's pretty close. I would say pretty darn close to looking brand new. I mean, that, that looks pretty good. And here's a brand new one. I mean, the car is really dirty. Probably, yeah, that's a brand new one. That's the one I just did. It was so yellow. But it looks pretty good. So, um, okay, there it is. Final product. I gave it a quick wash so you could see it. Let's compare the two. I can see it's definitely not as clean as the brand new one. But it's pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. I'm happy with it. It's not obvious that one's really old and one's brand new now. So anyhow, YouTube. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Oh, hang on. Let me hold the camera. Thanks for watching. And uh, hope somebody got some ideas about cleaning up their headlights. That's something everyone has to do because these cars are junk these days. Anyhow, hey, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.